It's Umsum time! What if all the bees die? No ways! I will sell all my burgers and create a safe house for them. That's so cute, Umsum. There are more than 16,000 species of bees. Bees generally collect pollen and nectar from flowers for their survival. In this process, they help pollinate majority of the fruits and vegetable crops which are consumed in the world today. Some studies reveal that more than 90% production of cherries, blueberries, and almonds is a direct result of the pollination efforts of bees. Also, certain bees have evolved as per the size and structure of specific flowers. Hence, if there are no bees, these plants would definitely go extinct. This will also have a catastrophic effect on the food chain as the animals eating those plants will slowly but surely perish. Finally, because of the absence of natural sweetener like honey, many people may switch over to an unhealthy artificial sweetener like sugar. Ah, what if the earth was cube-shaped? Holy moly! Will my cute chubby round face also turn into a cube? <laughs> oh, I'm some. <laughs> Earth is spherical in shape because of gravity. Ah! Earth's gravity mm. pulls everything equally towards its center and thus ah. gives it a spherical shape. Now, if the Earth was cube shaped, firstly, it would look weird, right? Secondly, just like gravity, our weight would be different at different places on Earth. This is because the eight corners of the cube would be much further away from the cube's center as compared to the rest of the cube. But this would be good news for people who are overweight and lazy. Now they can just go to the corners and voila, their weight gets reduced. Thirdly, due to low gravitational force, the cube corners would have very less atmospheric cover and almost no water, thus rendering them inhospitable. What if the Earth had two moons? So what? Even I have my two lollipops. I lick them every day. Hmm? That's gross, Sum Sum. The most obvious effect of two moons would be that our nights would be oh. much, much hmm. brighter. That would certainly be bad news for stargazers huh? and astronomers. Also, as you all know that tides on Earth are a result of the moon, so two moons would either amplify this effect or cancel out each other. If they were to amplify, then we could have huge tides, effectively making living near shorelines almost impossible. But it will definitely be good news for all the surfers. Hmm. Finally, as the number of moons increases, so will the number of solar eclipses. Also, hypothetically, if they were to ever collide with each other, then the amount of debris coming out of such collision would make living on Earth almost impossible. Hmm. What if Earth stopped spinning? It would gain weight. No, I'm some. The Earth spins at a speed of 1,000 miles per hour. Its atmosphere also moves along with it at a constant speed. If the Earth stopped spinning suddenly, the atmosphere would still be in motion, sending everything on the Earth's surface flying into the atmosphere. Now, Earth spinning generates a centrifugal force which is responsible for the huge bulge of water around the equator. Huh? No spinning means no centrifugal force. This water would migrate towards the poles, where gravity is the strongest, leaving behind a giant landmass. Also, remember that, even though the Earth stops spinning, it is still revolving around the sun. This means we would experience a six-month day followed by six month and night. Some experts oh. also believe that Earth's rotation generates its magnetic field. <laughs> Without rotation, there would be no magnetic field to protect us from the harmful solar winds, making it extremely difficult to survive. 